Our planet's diverse beauty offers a vast well of creative inspiration to us all. Surrounded by her muses at the Two Oceans Aquarium, poet Tanya van Skalkbeek recently released her collection of poems called Hyphen. I keep going back to an island moist with death Coraled with the bones of lives unfinished The moon is big there And moves the waters with an ardent magnetism The aquarium um, to me is a very evocative space And in today's world there aren't many places that are quiet and reflective that we can go to any, You know, um, it's getting less and less and they, and they do so much amazing work for the environment um, And I kind of thought about the fact that poets are endangered species and so are sharks and I thought well we could work on that and, and do a tongue-in-cheek um, event and also bring in you know the beauty of all the other arts. The eyes and lights of a drowned city spill onto beach sands beloved by tourist brochures. Do all islands contain our souls whispers in the leaves of their coastal trees perpetually moving to the beat of the wind tolling to and fro like a restless head on a sleepless pillow. The title, Hyphen, came about because originally I had, I had the title In Between and I found that was a bit negative and I was speaking to my mom on the phone, she lives in Mauritius and I'm half Mauritian and she was saying, well why don't you call it Très d'Union, we speak French and Très d'Union in French is translated to Hyphen but if you translate it literally it means a mark of union and that really worked for me because a lot of my work explores the in-between spaces, uh, the places in between, the moods in between, because I'm neither from here or there. Um, I was born in South Africa, but I left when I was two. My mother's Mauritian, my father's German. Um, I was brought up in Saudi Arabia, America, the UK. Um, so basically, the, the work explores that. Or is it just this land of lotus eaters that wraps its lagoon around my feet asks me to eat and wonder and never wake up. When I write I'm not really thinking of who I'm writing for but then I often find that afterwards when I'm reading at a gig or, or somebody you know reads some of my work in a magazine or something they tell me that really spoke to me. Um, so I think that emotions that we feel as human beings connect us all the time. What, what really fascinates me is, is all that stuff that gets lost in the rush of life. I find that we, we lead utilitarian, uh, Calvinistic, fast, fast, doing, doing, ecke so basach, you know, type of lives. And, and so what interests me is, is um, unpacking the small moments of life and, and packing them apart so that we can really feel them and take time to savor them. So that's what inspires me, is the little things. Trapped by tropical humidity, my eyes can no longer see the deep opening beyond the reef. And my ears keep hearing the crash of waves on the barriers. This grave is beautiful. My ancestors live here and call me.